845 now, and we're back with Your Life Calling Today. Today, contributor Jane Pauley has been working with AARP, which has produced and sponsored a series of reports for us. This morning, a writer who's making a difference in a place that's very far from her home. Jane, good morning. Good morning, Matt. A filmmaker by profession, Jenny Bowen explains, I have an idea, I write the story, I cast it, I dream a world that doesn't exist, and I find a way to get there. At 67, she's no longer making films, but she still dreams big. Here's Jenny Bowen with her life calling. When Jenny Bowen goes to China, she's a woman on a mission. There's a beautiful Chinese quote from 500 AD that says, all the children who are held in love will know how to love others. Spread these virtues through the world. Nothing more need be done. But modern China had a problem. The one-child policy to slow population growth and a cultural preference for boys, orphanages filled up with baby girls, rooms upon rooms of cribs, so many babies to feed and change, too many to be held and loved. Moved by the pictures, we said, we have to do something. He said we could bring one home. In their mid-50s, 14 years ago, the Bowens started a new family, Anya and Maya, whose smile was slow to come. At nearly two when she was adopted, Maya could not neither walk nor talk. Nobody had ever talked to her. She was emotionally just vacant. There was nothing there. Nothing. Me, Anya, and my dad, we went on a three-person bicycle. Have you ever done those? <laughs> I've never seen a three-person bicycle. Very now a vibrant teenager, Maya was three, the day Jenny remembers as the most compelling moment of her life. It was a backyard party, about a year after Maya's adoption. And there was that little girl romping around in the garden, singing so full of joy and happiness, it became so clear, just loving her up was all that little girl needed, and that must be what all of them need. That day, she told Richard, I know what I'm going to do for the rest of my life. Let's figure out how to convince the Chinese government to let us come over there and set up programs for children. And you did it. Yeah. What was your first step? I was a screenwriter and really good at research. I just started poking around on the internet she built a network of experts and with other adoptive parents reached out to China. What we said was, we are so grateful for these beautiful children. Will you let us work with you to try to bring the love of family to children who don't have families? When the answer was yes, half the sky, an American foundation began recruiting Chinese nannies. Trained in nurturing skills, those nannies worked loving magic. The children, within six months, were behaving like children. They started to blossom. Still growing, half the sky has trained 2,000 child care workers with centers in every province in China. What is the meaning of half the sky? There's an old Chinese saying, Women hold up half the sky. And about 95% of the healthy children in China's welfare institutions are little girls. We wanted to help those little girls hold up their half of the sky. <laughs> Jenny had no child development expertise, foreign policy experience, doesn't speak Chinese. The reality check, the Bowens had the freedom to relocate. They lived in China for five years, and she still spends a week there every other month, and fundraising is nonstop. Jenny Bowen is the recipient of the 2011 Purpose Prize for Intergenerational Innovation, sponsored by AARP. Join me along with Jenny at 10 a.m. Eastern this morning on my internet radio show, aarp.org slash Jane. Matt? It's my favorite one so far. No, really? No, I, I mean it. I think that's my favorite story so far. That's well, thank great. You. Jane, thank, thank you. you. And up next, we're going to meet some amazing animals with unusual ways of protecting themselves. But first, this is Today on NBC.